in this module we would like to look into profit sharing investment accounts in further detail hum ise complete story ya full story kahenge ke aakhir profit sharing investment accounts mein hota kya hai jab koi shakhs apne paise ek profit sharing investment account mein dalta hai to unke sath kya hota hai kaise profit generate hota hai किन किन एक्टिविटीज में ये मनी इस्तेमाल हो सकती है सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू इंश्योर दैट द स्टूडेंट्स अंडरस्टैंड कंप्लीट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मुदारबा इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ इस्लामिक बैंकिंग ऑफ कोर्स वी इंटेंड टू शेयर विद द स्टूडेंट्स फंड फ्लोज इन केस ऑफ प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट एज एन एग्जाम्पल लेट अस look at the general terms and conditions of a profit sharing investment account offered by any bank whether islamic or conventional in case of a profit sharing investment account there is certain information which is available publicly even for those who uh, have not opened uh, an account with a bank for example the bank on their website or in all their branches they would display an indicative rate of return on mudarba based profit sharing investment accounts no, we are very casual in our approach we as customers we as uh, users of financial services we go to a bank branch and we don't observe a lot of things so next time when you go to a bank whether this is islamic or conventional try to find where they have displayed their rates in case of islamic bank ask the manager where is the rate displayed on their profit sharing investment accounts if they offer such types of uh, accounts so indicative rate of return that is one thing profit distribution ratio is another thing which is displayed publicly terms of the profit sharing investment accounts i e the duration some accounts they are for one year the others they may be for two years three years five years depending on the choice of the bank managers so in this case we are saying three years for example then frequency of profit distribution this is also uh, displayed or this is given in the product brochure so yearly or quarterly in this case we are saying yearly distribution of the profit minimum investment because these are term accounts so minimum in investment uh, in this case is 10000 rupees so this information is available to everyone who has even a slight interest in opening a profit sharing investment account with a bank now let us look at you you have decided to open a profit sharing investment account with an islamic bank so you have 10000 rupees which you put into your bank account and that money goes into a mudarba pool this is something we have been explaining uh, time and again and by this time you should know what is the definition of a mudarba pool so basically in this mudarba pool you are not the only one but there there are so many thousands and hundreds and thousands of other investment account holders whose money has gone into this mudarba pool in fact as i indicated in my previous modules there are some shareholders funds put into this mudarba pool as well so your 10000 have gone into this fund or uh, this pool which has got 1 billion rupees contributed by different account holders and of course by 
the shareholders of the bank as well. Now, your share in this uh, 1 billion is actually 0.001%. So your money is there, but it comprises a very small fraction of the Mudarba pool. The profit sharing investment account holders as a whole, they have 90% in this 1 billion and the shareholders, they have 10%. So this Mudaraba pool, which is very central to profit sharing investment accounts, this is actually uh, owned by, in a way, by profit sharing investment account holders and of course by the shareholders of the bank as well. We have used uh, this uh, example previously, so I would not be spending a lot of time. So this Mudaraba pool, 1 billion Mudaraba pool, in which your 10,000 rupees are there as well. This is used for various activities, car financing, home financing, personal finance, etc. And this generates profit. We have been using this example of 250 million rupees uh, profit coming out of this, which is 25% uh, return on the Mudarba pool. Right? Then we to look, looked into profit equalization reserve. So this 250 million profit that goes to the bank, that goes into a profit equalization reserve and of course that goes to the profit sharing investment account holders and the shareholders of the bank out of which shareholders, okay, they get their share and part of your share goes into this investment risk reserve and 90 million, this is distributed amongst the profit sharing investment account holders and you are one of them. So what do you get? Okay, because remember, okay, we said your share in the Mudarba pool was only 0.001%. So this 90 million, which uh, is distributed amongst all the profit sharing investment account holders, your share is actually about 1000 rupees. So you have uh, deposited, you have put 10,000 rupees into this profit sharing investment account and you are getting 999.99, which is about 1000 rupees as your annual return. But the story doesn't end here you actually have got some funds owned by you left in the banking system. You own 198 rupees in the profit equalization reserve. Although 1000 rupees are distributed to you as the profit, but the bank has retained certain amount of your profits in profit equalization reserve expecting that in future the portfolio, the banking portfolio may not perform that well and may not generate a, a rate of return of 10%. In that case, this 198 rupees along with this small amount in investment risk, risk reserve, which is 5.5 rupees, that could be used to give you a return which is either equal to 10% or it is close to 10% to fulfill your expectations. So this is how the profit is generated and distributed in case of profit sharing investment accounts. Now, some profits are distributed, as I said, others are retained by the bank in PER, in IRR to ensure that the profit is smoothened smoothened in all the cases. This was a three years profit sharing investment account. First year example we have given the situation of profitability in the second year and the third year might have been different in which case the composition of profit equalization reserve and investment risk reserve would have changed.